I figured I would do a random boot up test. As you can see, the laptop is off and pressing button. La -da 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 -da, the MSI logo. Booting up all the extra devices, mouse, and everything, and it is on Windows 8. Boom! Uh, 22 second ish boot up time. Um, quick overview. Was my phone going off? Ignore that. So I can put in my password. I think I misspelled it. Ah, I didn't misspell it. That's awesome. Anyhow, yeah, that's my. Hang on, I need to clean my lens. That's better ish. Um. <clears throat> let it boot up the extra programs and everything but uh yeah this is the basic for my computer that was the update program as you can see down here maybe I have a ridiculous amount of extra programs but they are all required to run um, this is for the keyboard um, focus thank you Show you a few things the keyboard can do first off. Maybe this program will open. There we go. You see, I have this nifty little program, and it controls the functions on the keyboard. There's this function, which is kind of cool. Basic, um, just fade in and out. It's called breathing. I've already made one video with the wave, but the wave is awesome. It waves across the keyboard. It has gaming mode, which just turns on the gaming keys and a bright red. Uh, dual color mode, which is not set up, which is, there we go. And it basically just fades between two colors. Um, of course, I keep it in standard mode, which is this one. There we go. The only two things at once, not exactly perfect, sorry about that. Um, close out of that. Now as you can see, I have my Windows 7 style start menu. It's actually modified for the uh, Windows 8 interface instead, because it's just, you know, it looks better, it's, it's, it's squared off and everything is at a roundy. Um, you know, I have all my programs. You can't really see it, my phone won't focus very well on bright color. But I can actually open up the Windows 8 menu, which brings this up. Um, say I want to open up Skype, and I want to run it alongside my desktop. Now Skype is over here, it's separated from my desktop. If I open up this, whenever I snap it, it goes to this, snap it here, and I can also snap it over here, which gives me my Skype over here, a function of 8 I actually do like. You know, there's got to be one function of Windows 8 that I like so far. Uh, my internet here at the hotel is pretty bad. Um, don't really know what else I can show on this thing. It's not a, you know, it's, it's a gaming laptop, so I don't have a lot going on yet. I uh, don't have a lot of my games installed. I haven't really had time to. Um, but it is a full 1080p uh, laptop. Also, up here you can see I have like this little menu thing which I can bring up the menus. I can middle click and close Skype completely. Um, what can I do? What would you do? Um, for a cloud night bar. But yeah, it's a full, um, 1080, 1080p display, 17.3 inch. Um, I can actually turn off the monitor and turn it back on however I want. Um, it has two modes here I like. This is the, if I can actually hit it, turbo fan, listen. It will kick up the fan, full motion. I don't really know, I don't really know how well that sounds on a camera phone, but <coughs> basically it it's for gaming, uh, keeps it to where the fans are always on full speed, keeps it cool. This is the turbo mode. Um, 
basically automatically overclocks everything. Um, I don't use it in, in start off. I keep on missing it. Uh, I don't use it in standalone mode because, well, it's kind of a waste. You see, this turns white whenever it's using the Intel and turns red when it's going to NVIDIA, or if the Optimus thing is in function, which is the thing that basically switches between them. Uh, it's in function. In function is now the design. Um, <laughs> uh, random song test, uh, just because it's, you know, I can do it. Uh, virtual DJ, obviously. Oot. But you can't really tell whether we're on a phone. But this is extremely loud for a, just a laptop. Now you can see it has the two main speakers up here. It also has a center uh, on the bottom and a woofer on the bottom. It's a little two inch woofer. It's not exactly, you know, shaking the house or anything, but it does make these full 7.1 sound quality much better. Um, but yeah, that's the basic overview of the Mycota machine here. Skype boy again, I was talking to somebody. Um, but yeah, that's just a basic overview of this. Uh, if you don't know, since I haven't really said it yet, this is the computer it is. The MSI GT70, I forget all of the specifics, but these are the stats on it. It is incredibly powerful. Um, price isn't exactly in most people's range, but it is... I don't know, to build a desktop of the same caliber, you'd probably burn about $1,500. Um, you could, of course, get a more powerful graphics card because laptop graphics aren't the best. But this one so far plays every game I put into it at max settings. Um, I actually play DayZ, which, you know, for a, a mod of a game, actually has extremely high requirements. Um, so, I mean, that's definitely a good thing. I can play it on high to mid high with 50 FPS constant or 60 if I turn it down a little bit. Um, I've run the Heaven benchmark a few times on it. It runs it clean at a full DirectX 11, uh, about 30 to 40 frames a second, which is really good because that's actually a very powerful benchmark, full tessellation and everything. Um, not a lot else to really say about it. Um, ask questions if you want. Uh, I know that taking a full video on a phone is not the best thing for YouTube, but it's all I've got, and I travel a lot, so I'm not about to waste money on a camera that, you know, I don't ever use. Um, I might do some gameplay footage or something like that on this channel just to kind of show the how good it does run. Um, I just got to get fraps again and start recording 1080p video and see how well it does that. Um, it is standard clocked at 2.4 gigahertz for the i7. Um, I've already got it over, uh, stock overclocked to 3.1 constant, and the turbo mode puts it up to 3.8. It does not, for some reason, does not show up in CPU-Z or anything else, but the I know it's there because the power difference is, is noticeable um, and all of that. I'll actually, you know, you can't really see this on my, here we go, um, you know, focus down here. You can see it's in 3.1 mode. It's idling, so it'll downclock itself to save power. It's energy efficient. That's all. Who really cares about it? It's a 180 watt power or uh, yeah power inverter. So you know it's got some power inside. Anyhow, video's over. Um, this is the Mycota machine. Um, yeah, enjoy and uh, make fun of the video if you want. Post comments. Uh, I don't care. Peace.